Okay, um, in this video, we're going to look at uh, two uh, numbers that are used uh, commonly or very widely as bases uh, in the context of uh, logarithms and exponential functions. And uh, these are 10 and uh, the number e, which we shall uh, introduce in a moment. Now, the number 10... Uh, is called the uh, common base uh, in the context of uh, logarithm. Logarithms, this uh, number 10 is called the common base. Um, and uh, when we write oh, logarithms uh, to base 10, so log x to base 10 is called the common logarithm. So this one is called the common logarithm. And uh, there is uh, actually a special notation for the common logarithm. It is denoted as follows. So log x base 10 we can simply write as log x. So if we, if you come across a log expression and uh, there is uh, no um, number in the position of the base there, then uh, you must know that uh, the base is 10. So that means if log x is equal to a, then 10 to the power a is equal to x. So that is uh, base 10, which is uh, the common base, which leads to the common logarithm. Then the number e um, is uh, actually um, approximately equal to 2.718, we shall demonstrate this in a while. And uh, this number is uh, called uh, uh, Euler's constant. This is called Euler's constant. In the context uh, of logarithms, it is called the common base sorry, the natural base uh, in the context of uh, logarithms and uh, exponential functions. This is called the natural base. Now, let's just uh, uh, do a uh, bit of investigation about how this number ends up being 2.718. So, the value of E... Um, is uh, obtained uh, by um, letting um, n go to infinity uh, in the expression 1 plus 1 over n to the power n. So let's just uh, have a numerical experiment here and see what happens to this number as n becomes to this expression as n becomes bigger and bigger so we're going to have n here going to have 1 plus 1 over n to the power n in this column um, we're going to try a few values um, and uh, see <clears throat> what happens so let's start with n equals 1. When n is equal to 1, uh, this thing is going to be 1 plus 1 all to the power 1. So it's going to be equal to 2. Then uh, let's go to n equals 2, uh, 10. Uh, we're going to need a calculator for this. All right, um, so when n is 10, um, this thing is going to be equal to uh, 1 plus 1 over 10 
of 10 and then all raised to the power of 10 okay so correct to four decimal places going to be 2.5937 okay then next suppose n is a hundred so going back to the calculator i'm just going to replace this by a hundred here and hundred there and now this is 2.7048 you can see that it's uh, growing slightly uh, first 2 then 2.5 now 2.7 um, suppose now that n is uh, a thousand so this becomes a thousand here that becomes a thousand there and this becomes 2.7169. Um, you can see that the 7 is uh, not changing now. Um, suppose this time that N is now, that was a thousand. Suppose we now have N is 10,000. So I'm just going to add zero here and add zero there okay the value is now 2.7181 now 71 is now uh, not changing it's the one last one suppose n is now 10,000 so when n is 10,000 add one zero here we add one zero there, and uh, this is now 2.7182. Okay, so this is uh, um, this is uh, telling us. So of course, when this goes to infinity, this is going to go to the value uh, e. So that's the number e, which is uh, called Euler's constant. And in the context of logarithms, it's called the natural base. Now, um, again, in the context of logarithms, uh, log x to base e is called the natural logarithm. Okay, so this is called the natural logarithm because e is called the natural base and in terms of notation log x base e we simply write as a ln of x which is pronounced lean x so the l is for logarithm the n is for natural so if lean x is equal to say p um, then as soon as you see lean here then the base is e so that means this is going to be e to the power p is equal to x if you want to write it in terms of in exponential form now the common log uh, which is this one here and the natural log will uh, typically be found in your scientific calculator. So if you look at our calculator here, uh, then we can see that uh, the, this is the uh, common log uh, key. And this is the, um, this is the natural log key. So what I'm going to do now is uh, just going to work through a few examples to see how we can work things involving the common log and the natural log in the calculator. So I'm just going to look at a few examples that are going to help us uh, to be um, up to speed with how to punch in expressions involving the common log and the natural log. All right, um, so here is a, 
a few examples involving the natural log the common log the number e and uh, some other uh, constants like pi uh, that we're going to have a go at so we're going to do the first three examples and then we will give you an opportunity to work through the other three examples so i want to find the value of each one of these correct to three uh, to to two decimal places so in the first instance we have got log of uh, 450 uh, plus lean of 450 okay and uh, this is giving us uh, 8.76 and uh, so that one is done in the second case we've got 3e e squared uh, now e will be found as the second function of the lean key because uh, so remember the base of uh, lean is e so here we want to go uh, shift uh, e then it prompts us to punch in the power so the power is uh, uh, squared um, so this is times three so we need three first and then plus 10 times and then this times it's e to the power of negative one and then the value of this is uh, 25.85 because it's 845 so we're on the four up to five okay this one um it's uh, 18 so since it's divide um it's advisable to use brackets so we're going to go open brackets 18 minus uh this common log of 0 0.02 and then this is all divided by natural log of 0 0.07 and uh, this is equal to negative 7.41 right so we're going to give you um, just uh, an opportunity to have a go at uh, these three you can pause the video and then uh, when you continue the video you can compare with uh, our solutions all right um so before we work this out we'd like to thank you for visiting our channel we hope that these videos are useful we do of course uh, implore you to subscribe to our channel to support our channel and if you've got uh, questions comments um or any type of feedback I uh, would like to hear from you can post it in the comment section below so uh, starting with D here uh, we've got 62 plus uh, uh, the common log of 10 pi so we're gonna go uh, log and then 10 and then we have got to look for pi there is pi so second function of uh, that Okay, and then equal to, so this is a 63.50, correct, to two decimal places. Then in the next one, we've got uh, E uh, raised to the power of pi. Uh, so raised to the power of pi. Then minus, so minus... Uh, lean of 10 pi so lean 10 pi and uh, the value is 19.69 uh, then for the last one we have got uh, 7 so again we open brackets here 7 minus 3 e uh, to the power of 4 and then plus uh, so plus uh, 10 to the power of pi or to the power of pi okay 
and then this whole thing is divided by uh, lin point one point one and this gives us negative five three three point six zero all right so that is uh, the natural log and uh, the common log thank you for watching